Yo, what up, guys? This is your boy Freon. I want to go ahead and make a little video about uh, using uh, JBridge uh, within Reason uh, to go ahead and uh, use your 32-bit VST plugins in a v uh, in a 64-bit host such as uh, Reason. So this is just one of the projects I've been working on, but I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys. Because uh, there's a lot of um, free VSTs you can get out there. Um, and, um, you know, let's go ahead and see what we can go ahead and find. So, I got a brand new tab. Type in free VSTs, free VST plugins. Bam, real quick. Um, let's see. VST for free. And then... Let's go to, I mean, I could easily download one of these, but I really don't want to. I'll go ahead and um, synthesizer, poly, I'm just going to vintage synthesizers. Let's use the uh, ADVOX. I don't know why. I just want to. Yamaha. Um, all right, so click on it. As you can see here, it says 32, uh, win 32 VST. That means it's a 32-bit VST. Uh, therefore, for it to be working within reason, we're going to have to convert it, and that's where J, uh, J Bridge will come, okay? So let's go ahead and download it. it. Downloads real quick. Thank God. Go ahead and uh, extract it. Extract it to... See, extract all, and I'm going to go ahead and put it to, uh, I'm going to put it to the desktop. Extract. All right, so now we have it within the desktop. This is it, and it's a DLL. That's how you know it's the VST. Um, so... Let's just go to the uh, local program files, VST plugin. That's where it's going to be. I'm going to put it right here. You know, actually, I could put it right here because this is another uh, another one that I've done. Um, so let's go ahead and um, we could do that right here. Drag and drop. So I have it right here, and I'll go ahead and make a new folder, and this is because I want to keep it in the same folder, um, and you'll see why. Um, so let's just lower that down. We're going to open JBridge, and thankfully I have uh, one of the versions that was free. I think now you have to, I think now you have to go ahead and um, pay for it. I think it's like 15 bucks or something like that. Um, if you can't pay for it, that's awesome. You know, it's a pretty cool uh, uh, program, so thank the guy who did it. Uh, so here, once you open it, select your VST host architecture. Uh, uh, it's a 64-bit. Uh, most of this stuff, I kind of, if you want to look into it, you know, you can certainly do that. Um, in the meantime, we just kind of uh, leave it all the same. And I'm going uh, to create bridging files inside a directory. I'll specify. So I'll select this. I'll go to my local disk. And go to the VSTs. Awesome. So it says uh, select VST plugin, plugin or plugins to be scanned uh, a directory or a single file. So I'll select the single file. Okay. Then another one's gonna pop up. And if I try to do it in the same folder, uh, if I just like like this is a folder, it's gonna tell me a, an error. I think. Yeah. D the destination directory cannot be the same. Then the original directory, please select another directory. So because of that, I'll go ahead and make a, um, I'll just lower this down and then I'll make a, um, I'll make a new folder here and I'll go ahead and put the, um, I'll put Yamaha 80 synth. You can put whatever you want. I'm just putting this just to kind of, you know, uh, cause I know it's a Yamaha 80 synth. So I'll just select that. I'll press okay. Then right now it's analyzing the file, one file or files bridged for using in your 64-bit VST host. So um, basically that's done. Um, I've already that's the whole purpose of 
J Bridge. Um, but uh, since I already had this file open, um, you won't see it within here, within your instruments. Uh, you'll see the older ones, like this is the VST, you know, because it has a little VST, a uh, little corner, blue corner right here. Uh, you won't see the new one. So basically, I would have to open up a new one. Uh, actually, no. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, I have to close the whole thing and, and then do it, uh, do it again. Um, just to make sure uh, that it, the folder is being scanned. Go to the edit uh, tab, then uh, uh, preferences, and go to the uh, advanced tab, and at, uh, at the bottom you'll see the VST plugin folder, and you see, you notice how I have two of them, one of them has a little space, the one that has the space is the one that I put it on, so thankfully it's already checked, so all I have to do is just close up, close it, uh, I'll go ahead and, and, um, and relaunch the, uh, the program. All right, and once it's been relaunched, um, if you go down, you, I should see the new one right here, VST plugin. It doesn't have a little picture, and and that's simply because you're you're supposed to do that yourself. So, uh, but it says AD box. That's the one, you know, and it says 64 because I uh, converted it to 64 bit uh, using the JBridge uh, application. So you can double click on it, or you can drag and drop. It's up to you. Then. Um, when it comes down to this rack, um, basically you just go to where it says VST. There's a little open. You click on it. It opens up, and um, that's it. You know you can, you know, uh, use anything. Let me see what the sound is. Uh, okay, it's not a. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna close this real quick. Okay, no wonder. I just connected my uh, my uh, MIDI keyboard. That's why I'm almost like touching it, and it wasn't even work fucking working. Okay, now it makes sense. Um, sometimes. Okay, see, this is what I was just about to say. The thing about uh, JBridge and converting the 32-bit uh, plugins is the fact that uh, it's not a stable product, you know. So. As you see here, I don't see anything else, but you'll see the little hand, and if I move it, you see the little, um, the uh, the pointer, and then it becomes a little finger. That's because I'm moving parameters, you know. Sometimes when you move some of the parameters, you know, up or down, you kind of, okay, just like what I was just trying to say. When you move it up and down, you, you kind of see, like, it shows you a bit of the, um, of the interface. Uh, but, of course, this is... Uh, it's like it's not stable. That's the only thing uh, right now. Con uh, from pros and cons. I'll, I'll, that's one one of the cons I would say that uh, J Bridge has because it's not. Um, maybe in, in the later future, uh, in the future, you know, uh, the uh, creator might. Um, I'm assuming it's uh, Wesley Foreman. Uh, maybe he will be able to um, upgrade it in the future, or you know, hopefully there's uh, in the future there's more. 64-bit um, plugins where you, uh, that are p free, so you you know you don't have to do all of this. Um, but that's the uh, thing about um, the J Bridge. But um, let's see. Yeah. So sometimes you'll be able to see it. Sometimes you won't be able to see it. Um, yeah, so it's not opening, uh, but basically, uh, what you would do here, once you had the picture, uh, you would just click on the screenshot and it'll take a picture of the, uh, of the interface, of the, um, uh, user interface, and basically, um, that's the one that would be plastered on the, um, right here. Yeah, that's how you'll see it. Just kind of how this one is. Thankfully, this one so far, um... I mean, I had it previously installed before this, before today, but I mean, it's, uh, I think it's a, it's a 64 plugin. I don't, I'm not sure. Actually, no, I think I converted this one too as well. So, but this one, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, 
this is also a free one. So if you guys are interested uh, in checking this one out, it's kind of cool. T Force Alpha Plus. Uh, it was a free download somewhere, and um, and that's kind that kind of hasn't given me. Okay, then never mind. It did. It it still does the same thing. So again, that's the thing about uh, J Bridge. Uh, I have version 1.6 B3 right now, uh, and this is a free one. Um, I know now I think he has a 1.75 if I'm not mistaken, but um, you have to kind of pay for that now. So um, that's basically about it. That's basically the tutorial that I wanted to make. If you guys have any questions, um, uh, leave, uh, leave some comments down below on the, on the video. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully the uh, plugin works out for you. And... Um, you know, make some dope shit. Keep it cool. Peace.